how to find the equivalent fractions okay yes see that was one finding an equivalent fractions of given fractions here some fractions are given here so we are going to find the equivalent fractions okay yes see the first number 3 by 4 3 by 4 equivalent fractions mean how we can find it we have to multiply right so first which number we can use it we can use first second table right yes so if you are multiplying numerator means denominator also you have to use the same number right yes yes now multiply by 2 right if you multiply by 2 numerator means denominator also you are going to multiply by 2 So three times two is how much? Six divided by four times two is eight, isn't it? So this is the equivalent fraction, right? One more fraction if you have, if you want to find two fractions, this what we have to do. The same number we can multiply by three also. If you yes, three times three is how much? Two is what? Nine, right? Nine divided by four times three is how much? Two is what? Twelve, right? So now. These three fractions are equal, right? Yes. See next number five by seven. Five by seven. You can use third table or second table. Okay. So second table if you are using means denominator also you can use second table. So five times two is ten divided by seven times two is how much? Fourteen. So equal and fraction, right? Next seven by ten. Seven by ten means you can multiply by two. Here also multiply by two. So seven times two is what? Fourteen. Then ten times two is how much? Twenty. So these fractions are equal and fraction, right? Yes. Next fourth question. See here twenty-five by thirty. Here in these fractions they are single-digit number, right? But here double-digit. So if it is double-digit means if it if it is possible means we can reduce the fraction. Okay. So that means if you want to reduce means you can divide it. Okay. So here twenty five by thirty. That means of five, right? These two numbers, numerator and denominator. So here you can divide it by five. Denominator also divided by five. If you divide twenty five divided by five, what is the value? Twenty five divided by five, five only, right? So here five. Then thirty divided by five, how much? Six, right? Six times five is not thirty. So here six. So this is the equivalent fraction. Thirty-five divided by thirty. Sorry, twenty-five divided by thirty equal to five by six. Like that, this question also. Twelve divided by twenty-four. Here we can divide second table and third table also, right? Then sixth table also we can use it, right? Better we can use the sixth table, okay? So it's easy. Divided by six. Numerator divided by six. Denominator also you have to divide it by six. Now twelve divided by six. Twelve divided by six. How much do you get? Six. How many times twelve? Two times, right? That is two only. Next, twenty-four divided by six. Twenty-four divided by six means six. How many times twenty-four? Four times, right? So two divided by four. See two divided by these two numbers are even number again, right? These two numbers multiples of two, right? Again we can reduce. How divided by two? Here also we can divide it by two. So the answer is what? Two divided by two is one. Then four divided by two, how much? Two. So the fraction equivalent fraction is one by two. Twelve by twenty-four will become one by two. Now do you understand? How to find an equivalent fraction? If it is single digit, means you can easily multiply two or three. You can use it. Then multiply and find the equivalent. Find the equivalent of fractions. If double digit means what we have to do? We can divide that values. Okay, then we will get the. We can reduce it. Then we will get the equivalent fractions. Right? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Fill in the blanks. Here, so three questions are there. See, we are going to find an equivalent fraction. Okay, so two by five, two by five equal to here denominator is there but numerator is not there. So first we have to check five how many times ten? Five how many times? Two times, right? That means five can multiply by two means we will get ten, right? The same number we are going to multiply here also into two. So two 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 times two is how much? We will get. 
four. The first answer. Now do you understand? Yes. Next check. Next here denominator is no number, but numerator is there. Then check here. Two. Two. How many times? Six. Six. How many times? Two. Three times. Right? Yes. Multiply by three. So same number can multiply by three here also. Multiply by three. So that means five times three. Five times three is how much? Fifteen. So here fifteen. So answer. Do you understand? See the second question. Two by three equal to four divided by dash. We don't know. So check here. Two how many times four? Two times, right? Two times two is four. Then three also you have to multiply by two. Three times two is how much? Six, right? Three times two two is six. Then here denominator is there. So three how many times twelve? Three how many times twelve? Three times four, right? Three times four is twelve. So same number multiply here also into four. That means two times four. Two times four equal to how much? Eight. So these fractions are equal and fractions, right? Then the last question: four by seven equal to numerator is not there. Denominator is fourteen. So seven how many times fourteen? Two times. Multiply by Two seven times two is our fourteen. So multiply here also into two. Four times two. Four times two is how much? Eight, right? Yes. Next here sixteen. Four how many times sixteen? Four. Four four is our sixteen, right? Four times four is our. So same number seven into four. Seven times four is our how much? So on the table four times. How much do we get? Twenty. Eight, right? Twenty-eight. Now, do you understand how to find an equal and fractions? Yes. Next, we are going to discuss about checking equal and fraction. See, find out whether two by ten and one by five are equal and or not. So, we can check these two fractions are equal and or not. How do we know? So, here two by ten. Two divided by ten. Here one by five. Just cross multiply the numerator and denominator. Multiply these two number and multiply these two number. Two times five. That means two into five. Two into five equal to how much? Ten, isn't it? Then multiply these two numbers. Ten into one. Ten into one. So it will become ten. So the products are equal means these two fractions are equivalent. Do you understand? First, what we have to do? We have to cross multiply, cross multiply the numerator and the denominator. So two times five, two times five is how much? Ten, right? Then ten times one equal to ten. So the products are equal, right? So these two fractions are. Equal and fraction. Do you understand? Okay. See the second example. Find out whether two by seven and one by five are equal and fraction. Now we can find it so whether these two fractions are equal and or not. Okay. So two by seven, two by seven, one by five. First, what we have to do? We have to cross multiply. Understand? To so cross multiply the numerator and denominator. That means. Two into five here seven into one. So cross multiply two into five. Two into five equal to how much? Ten, right? Then seven times one. Seven times one is seven only. See the products are equal or different? So different values, right? Ten and seven. It's not same. So these two fractions are not equal, right? These two fractions are Not equal. Then, come to its lowest term. Lowest term means you have to reduce the value. For example, thirty divided by forty. How we can reduce these two numbers? We can reduce these. We can divide it by which number? We can use it first. Which table we can use? Put the table is easy because there is number is the same. One place zero is there, right? Or tenth table also you can use. Denominator also you can use it in the table. So thirty divided by ten. Thirty divided by ten. How much will it come? Three one, right? Three. Three divided by forty divided by ten. How much will it come? Four, isn't it? So thirty divided by forty. Uh, the reducing means the reducing fraction is what is the answer? Three 
by 4. 3 by 4. See the next example. 24 divided by 32. So you can really give a use in which table we can use. Second table or fourth table. Fourth table also you can use it here. Right? Fourth table also. So better we can use fourth table. So 24 divided by 4. 4 how many times? 6 times 4 is 24. Right? 6. Then 7 times 4 is 28. Then 8 times again 32 it will come. Fourth table here 8 times. 8 times 4 is 32. Isn't it? So again these two numbers 6 by 8. These two we can reduce these two numbers. Isn't it? Yes you can reduce it. Which table we can use? Second table we can use it. Yeah. 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 how much can we come? 3. 8 divided by 2, 4. So, this is the lowest term. So, 24 by 32, the lowest term is 3 by 4. Now, do you understand? 3 by 4. See, next one is by finding the HCF. So, we can find the first, we can find the HCF. HCF means what? Highest common factor. Do you remember? In factors, you will learn how to find the Highest common factors. Yes. So here also we are going to find the numerator value and denominator value. Find the highest common factor. After that we can reduce that value. Do you understand? I will explain. Just see. Here first the numerator is 9 divided by 15. So first we have to find the factors of 9 and 15. So 9 factors. What are the numbers will come? Second degree is possible to. No, it is not possible. Then third table is possible, right? 3 times 3 is 9. Then which table we can use it? 9th table one. Isn't it? Then 15. 15 factors are 3, then 5, then 15. That's all. Isn't it? 3, 5, 15. So here, height CF. Height CF means highest common factor. Isn't it? So highest common factor, common factor is what? 3, 1. 3. So, highest common factor is 3. Now, this 3 we are going to divide numerator and denominator. Do you understand? So, dividing, divided by 3. Here also, divided by 3. Okay, 9 divided by 3. How much can we come? 3, 1, 8. Then, 15 divided by 3. How much? 5. Now, this is the lowest term of 9 by 15. 9 by 15, the lowest term is 3 by 5. Do you understand? Yes. See the next question. This 12 by divided by 20 is lowest term. This 12, 12 divided by 20. This is the lowest term. No, right? This, not, this is not a lowest term. We can reduce it. If we are not possible to reduce means that is the lowest term only, right? But this number we can reduce it. Isn't it? So, here also we are going to use in the HCF method. HCF method means highest common factor. Okay. So, highest first we are going to find the HCF. 12 factors. 12 factors are 2, then 3, then 4, then 6, then 12. Isn't it? Right? Then 20 factors. 20, 2, then 3 is not possible. 4 is there. Then 5, then 10, then 20. Right? Here, the common factor is, you can take it 2 and 4. Sorry. 2 and 4 is the common factor. Right? 2 comma 4. But highest common factor means, highest common factor which number we can say? 4. Isn't it? Highest common factor. 4. So now this 4 only we are going to divide these two numbers. Numerator and denominator. So, here divided by 4, here also divided by 4. So, 12 divided by 4, how much can we come? 12 divided by 4, 3 only. 4 times 3 is our number. So, it will come here 3. Then, 20 divided by 4, how much it will come? 5, right? 5 times 4 is our number. So, 5. So, the lowest term is 3 by 4. 3 divided by 4. 12 by 20, the lowest term is 3 by 4. Five. Now do you understand? Now you know how to find an equivalent fraction, then checking equivalent fraction, then reducing fractions, 
isn't it so uh, i hope you understand these concepts now this is now what you are going to do the, the, your homework is exercise 6.1 that is page number 70 exercise 6.1 that is finding an equivalent fractions then uh, page number 72 exercise 6.2 that two exercise that is your homework please try to complete that two homeworks if you have any doubt please contact me okay children thank you bye